Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, watching a cold front move on into the state. It has moved in towards the state right now. And uh, we can kind of analyze it here. Uh, it's past through Williston. Uh, looks like just starting to move into Minot now and then uh, out towards the, well, past the Turtle Mountains area there. Uh, get some gusty winds and you can see a little bit of shower activity as it does move through. Not going to be significant, but... Uh, You'll, you might notice those winds picking up a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at Minot right now. That's where we do see some of those showers moving in. Not reporting any rain right now. Temperature is 53 degrees. Winds calm. I suspect they might pick up here uh, within the uh, next 30 minutes or so as that cold front does come on through. Uh, temperatures and winds across the board. Uh, look at that. Stanley's now dropped to 46 degrees. Crosby, 50 degrees. Uh, Garrison, 47 degrees. So... Uh, some spots getting a little cooler out there, Rugby and Harvey at 46, but it's going to get significantly colder once that cold front starts uh, bringing in that colder air overnight tonight. We'll definitely feel it. Uh, looking at lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the 20s and low 30s back towards the southeast. That's where the cold front will push through last. And your highest tomorrow, temperatures only getting up into the 30s and 40s for, uh, for most of us. So Dickinson three-day forecast, uh, we will see some rain and snow for Dickinson. Uh, there is a significant system developing where southwest and south. Uh, Dickinson might see a little bit of rain and snow from that. Accumulations, maybe half an inch for you. Wilson, outside chances for pre precipitation will be cloudy tomorrow. A bit breezy. Might not. You're going to be looking at mostly dry conditions. Can't roll out a stray shower, uh, rain or snow then this weekend. And then uh, it gets pretty cold early next week for uh, mid-April. But as we look at Bismarck here, too, cold early next week. But we do warm up, and we'll slowly climb out of it. In fact, temperatures will be close to seasonal averages here by the end of next week. So we have that to look forward to. Uh, but we'll continue to track the radar here and uh, give you the latest on uh, where the rain is. And uh, we'll see if it switch over, switches over to snow uh, later tonight as well. That's all coming up at 10 o'clock, and we'll see you then.